In Plato's time, it was possible for one person to grasp most formal knowledge. People said that Plato did. But now we're way past that. As knowledge expands, we specialize, and we rely more and more on each other to understand the world around us. Which brings us to the internet. What is possible? We think we can develop a system that lets us see the quality insights and analyses of other people on top of information wherever we are. We call that system hypothesis. I'm Chris de la Rocas. I'm a professor at Boston University. Dan contacted me about this project and uh, this relates a lot to work I've been doing for the last 12 years on the reputation systems. It also relates uh, to a lot of my current interests on how to make sense out of the torrents of information that exist on the web and how to deliver uh, a good subset of information that people can handle with their current cognitive capacity. So the way reputation works in our system, and I think the only sane way reputation works anywhere, is it comes from your peers. The system doesn't give you reputation. Other people do. Uh, because they see what you wrote, and they say, hey, this is credible, this is useful, this is interesting, this is authoritative, you know, and they vote it up. So um, in general, Reddit, we are, I don't know, top 50, top 100 site in the world. We get two, two and a half billion page views a month. Um, we are open source. Uh, we've been around for six or seven years, and we have about 12 employees. So really small staff. Most of the work is done by moderators and by the community itself. And karma is basically just the number of, roughly the number of, you know, upvotes minus downvotes that links you post and comments you post receive. That's kind of a site-wide, you know, reputation system. The question is what is credible information and uh, I think that is also what hypothesis is about uh, and there is the problem and then there is of course always an approach that you can take and uh, hypothesis is promoting uh, if I can understand that correctly annotation plus reputation as a mechanism to achieve that. So and what's interesting is that bits and pieces of what we, we want to do are already happening right? at the bottom of blog postings, at Facebook, Twitter, at Quora, right? So what about if we think integrating what we are about to do with what exists right from the get-go and considering our effort, not just a reputation community, but a combination of, you know, somehow bringing together what already happens, right? Uh, and last but not least, uh, Dan put together a fantastic set of people and I really wanted to be here with them and exchange uh, ideas and opinions. And related to that, I think one of the things that we should be thinking about is candidate domains in which if we go and do a design, we have an opportunity to show that this thing really kicks butt. And one example, a potential domain is Wikipedia, and so I'd like to talk about the strengths and weaknesses of that domain. I trust this repository mm -hmm. not yeah, yeah. to exactly. publish Fish. false annotations. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That's almost like a CA. You have a certificate authority layer, right? Yeah. That, yeah. That, and yeah. then give out certs to yeah. Like I know that Hypothesis will not let me will not let anyone publish an annotation under an identity that they haven't proven to own. Right. 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 Um, and then yeah. So I, and I would model that as moderating annotations on the sources of other annotations. <laughs> right. So you've got a. a <laughs> I've gotten a lot of pluses in the bioinformatics space that involve math, but the ones that involve microbiology, people aren't so hot on. Uh, and, and it's actually that I'm good at math, the math part of this. And, and then those things, someone looks up comments I make in math, even though I'm not a mathematician, and maybe they like my advice here because uh, those documents happen to be also close to the math ones. So I think creating arbitrary categories is a, is a rabbit hole of yeah. tagging. The, um, when you're looking, when you're using symbols to talk about things, it's like the tips of icebergs, but the, the topology is like the thing that you don't see. The thing that, that, that I get confused.
confused about with that analogy is that um, say that the tip of the iceberg is the word <coughs> bioinformatics. Right. But bioinformatics is a, bl a blend of connections yes. to a lot of other things. Yeah. So the, it's not really a big iceberg. It's a bit, you're right. It's not an optimal metaphor. Yeah. It's more yeah, like a, a sprouted mushroom in a sea of, uh, of mycelia. Of mycelia. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. probably a better, much better analogy is a mycelial system. In fact, this is probably trying to design a mycelial system. But it's kind of crowd or a nervous system. Kind of crowdsourced the topology. Kind of make it emerge. Yeah, crowd, crowdsourced topology. <laughs> Well, okay, it's kind of what we're trying to do. I think so. Okay. We want to build a system on a domain uh, in which we allow discovery. So we want to be able to provide a service that allows consumers of the server of the service to discover new content that uh, was not uh, accessible before the, uh, the introduction of the system. And we want to develop a, a system that. Uh, uh, is based on a regional use case. So we want to have a system in which uh, uh, we value user contributions both at individual level. So uh, we want value to be uh, present uh, at the individual uh, annotation level, but we also want the system to allow uh, some value to emerge uh, from the collaborative integration of these annotations. So we thought, okay, we want to find a system in which uh, uh, we can empower the population of users uh, to promote uh, uh, an important to have an important social impact uh, that is supported by this, this technology. So if you combine all these criteria, um, maybe their intersection is empty. And we try to think hard for, for a while about uh, what would be the perfect domain. And we get the conclusion that uh, uh, law uh, is a perfect uh, domain. So the annotation of uh, bills, um, we thought of the recent uh, attention around the SOPA, PIPA, um, in the context of scholarly publishing, RWA, uh, Research Works Act, uh, uh, and the fact that uh, uh, an increasing part of the, of the web population really cares about these issues, but it's a fundamental problem of how to make uh, this context accessible uh, to lay people, and how to allow people, how to, uh, to empower users to actually uh, dissect and annotate these bills uh, to make them more understandable and more accessible. This moment is, is uh, here at hand. We now have the means, I think, for everybody on the planet to know as much as he or she wants to about anything. But the way in which that's done has to be done on the basis of a, an evolving authority, an evolving set of connections and perceptions and views and editorial processes that you folks are thinking deeply about, and not enough other people. 